Good evening. This is from from the shelves. Let's give you um, another shelf to go through. We're um, halfway through now. Four done. Four more to go. Let's get on with it. Night of the Demons. Night of the Demon. It's a good one. Good uh, black and white. All the extras on it. I think it's about three cuts of the film on that. Okay. Ray Harry Hansen. I've said that right. Ray Harry Housen. <laughs> Mysterious Island. Jason the Argonauts. First Men in the Moon. I got this one because uh, Jason the Argonauts was one of my mum's favourites. She loved this one. I loved the um, all the uh, stop animation and all that. Oh. <laughs> Whoop! Madam Romance. Albert Brooks film. It's a good one. This is a. Um, an adult uh, comedy. Willem Castle set. I didn't know anything about Willem Castle until there's um I think it's Thirteen Ghosts. There's a documentary on it. But it's uh, I think it's about an hour and a half documentary about him. And uh, this documentary is just uh, really good. It just uh, just tells you all about him, all about his films, and how he just changed um, celluloid altogether. On Castle Volume Two, I've seen some of these. One seen like a straight jacket. I think the the, uh, the old Dark House was a remake from the oh, is it nineteen thirties one which I've got in me Eureka Where is it? There it is. Old Dark House there. I've heard that this uh, this set isn't as good as the first one. The straight jacket's good. Zot's um I've seen and it's pretty good. The other two films I haven't seen yet. A severed head. It's about um a group of people who um swap beds with each other. That's pretty much what the whole film is about. Just people's relationships. Bellman and True. This is a good film. Like a, a guy doing a bike um, bank heist. It's a good film. Stop. It's a legacy. This is one I remember when I was watching when I was a kid. Um. Yeah, just uh, in this uh, in this mansion. Where just all these uh all these murders take place and someone gets trapped in the swimming pool and Roger um I think Roger Dalton's in it as well. Gets a chicken bone stuck in his throat. Very nice. I'm sorry, this is uh what I'm going through now is indicator, like you you don't know already, but <laughs> but I'd say it. Next up is Scum. This is a good film. I like this film. That's it when I watched it. Um, when I watched it on video or something, it's uh, it's quite hard hitting. But this time around, I really enjoyed it. Don't know if it's me just getting used to the film or not, I don't know. But Whoops. 
Plus 10 from Navarone. I've seen this. Bit of a blind buy. It was alright. Not really, um, don't know. Didn't really grab me. Next up, cellophane. I haven't opened it yet. I haven't even watched it. Moscow on the Hudson. Robin Williams. I haven't even heard of this film. So, just don't know. Don't know where. Uh, What's it about? Next up, Road Games. This is a good Australian film. It's got Stacey Keach in it, Jim Lee Curtis, even though they're uh, American. This is um, Australian made. Good film. 20th Century. This is like one of the first screwball comedies. And uh, yeah, you, you, you can tell. You can tell by it. 20th Century is a, is a, is a train that um, Carol Lombard and John Barrymore goes on. Uh, she's trying to get out of um, John Barrymore's um, theatre or something, going to a Hollywood to a to do uh, break it big but he wants her back and she goes to and fro in from each each carriage and whatnot and uh, yeah screwball comedy in seals crime wave I like this film very wacky very good very quirky which uh, films I like Sam Raimi Director of Evil Dead and so many much more films and writers of um, well it's the Coen Brothers so you must know uh, what films they make next up just watched this today Irreversible very intense film very intense the uh, but the, the the time, um, the time just goes so fast in this film. It's um, it's a really good film. It's um, shot in a style that's uh, that I like, and yeah, yeah, it's got weird sounds to it as well. It's supposed to make you feel nauseous or something, but it just adds onto the uh, to the tension of the film. It's a very angry film in the first part of it. Um, it, it runs in in a reversible. That's what's got irreversible. So I like it where um, where I thought well the ending's got to be uh, um, quite nice from being how it starts and all that. So it does it it does end nice, but it's also quite sad in a way. Uh, these people lives have changed and uh, how it ends is uh, where they started from which is quite sad next up The Woman in Black I love this film I think this is so creepy there's this one scene that's in it that's just made me petrified with fright I think you all know uh, what that scene is. It's just like it just comes out of nowhere, though. It's like, oh god! I do love me horrors, do love it, but uh, yeah, I do like getting freaked out as well. Okay, this is uh, the imprints here now. First up, Hard Eight. Is it Paul Thomas Anderson film? One of his first films. It's about um, gambling, and they've don't know if it's Reno or if it's Vegas. I think it's Reno is Reno Strip. No, I think it's Las Vegas. I, I don't know. <laughs> it's a good film anyway. Fire in the Sky. 
it's got quite a beating when it first came out so it was like two stars everywhere and whatnot but i quite liked it quite like the film i think it's um it does get a long long time to get there to see where this guy gets abducted or his friends say he got abducted but um the friends were under um, a murder investigation because he went missing anyway he came back and uh he heard what happened in his story which is quite terrifying next up at close range it's the first time I've seen this uh, oh, a couple months ago I think it was it's from the uh, Madonna uh, song Live to Tell with the uh, the music that plays and it is all over this film so you know exactly I've heard that song before I've heard, it's a song it's a Madonna song isn't it uh, this is quite a hard hitting one the the uh, the ending part is, is quite like wow this is an 80s film like and it could be made that right now get in there next up breakdown it's a good film good thriller the ending part gets me i'm like on the edge of my seat on a on a bridge and they're uh, like fighting uh, fighting with this um what is it? Is it a lorry? Yeah, a lorry. About to go over. And it's like, oh my god. Stop. <laughs> Good film. This is uh, 101's Black Label. Howard the Duck. I've only just started seeing this, watching this, and turned it off. Don't know why. So I need to see it. I need to see it all. See what it's like. I think the reputation of the film uh, stops me from watching it. Next up. David Cronenberg's Rabbit. This is a good film. Really good film. Woman gets in a crash on a motorcycle. Um, gets like uh, skin grafts on her and Finds out that she's got um, this thing on her arm that uh, is, is like a vampire or something that um, it bites people. It makes them rabid. It's a very, uh, very strange film. Kind of like what we're living in right now with the pandemic. Oh, different. Silent Night, Deadly Night, parts one and two good release like uh, like the first film so I might have to pause this get this back in Woo. okay so that's a deadly night a silent night deadly night next up spookies watch this one the other night it's a it, it's, it's a low budget film so it's people are not gonna like it. It's quite a quite a strange film. So uh, there's documents on this though. That's uh, that explains itself. I've already have seen the uh, the Ripco one, which uh, is quite notorious in the uh, UK distribution of uh, DVDs. Used to always collect them. Um, yeah, I'm watching the uh, documentary and thinking, God, they were all uh, copies of these films. <laughs> it's, uh, don't know how he got away with it. Next up, The Gate. Loved this when I was a kid. Still haven't seen this though on uh, Blu ray yet. Return of the Living Dead. Part well, I don't know if it's part. Well, it's definitely free. It's not in a, in a part <laughs> kind of way. It's a good film though. Like this film, Little Monsters, 
caught this on uh, Sky Movies at the time. Quite a fun film. Monsters live under under your bed. I'm scared. It's like uh, Monsters Inc. But yeah. Porky's Revenge. It's one of my favourite films. This one. Grew up on this one. Out of all these uh, 15 certificates and 18 certificates that I've seen when I was, when I was a kid. <laughs> One Dark Night. I think it's a really good film. Went to uh, Los Angeles to a, uh, a famous uh, a cemetery there. That's got the, the mausoleum that features in this film. Uh, yeah, it's one of my, uh, my uh, fanboys fun day that day. Just love it. Humanoids from the Deep. It's a good film. Not bad. It's got crumbs all over it. <laughs> Quite a good film. Good uh good practical effects. And go. Short circuit two. Not the best one, out of both of them, but it's, it's a very watchable film. Go to the Jackie Chan films. Crime Story. The Protector. For a Jackie Chan film, it's got full of uh, F words in it, which uh, I thought, oh, a Jackie Chan film has got swear in it. Oh, something different. Oh, come on. Miracles. This one I couldn't get into. I, I don't know. There was something about it. I suppose if I watch it again, I'll get into it then, but it must have been just the mood I was in. Next up is my favourite ever Jackie Chan film, Dragons Forever. This was one of the ones that were on uh, Bravo at the time and uh, just loved it. Just, just thought it was a, just a really, really good, um, funny, uh, fun action packed, brilliant Jackie Chan film. You just couldn't go wrong with this one. Definitely can't go wrong. Heart of the Dragon, Heart of Dragon. It's all right, not bad. A few things about it that I, I, I didn't like, but yeah. Now this one I haven't seen yet. Armor of God 2, Operation Condor. Yeah, I haven't seen this one, so can't tell you that much about it. Now, I think he had this one on. Didn't pay much attention to it, mind, but couldn't tell you that much about that one as well. <laughs> the Fearless Hyena, which I do like, which I enjoyed very much. Very much indeed. This is one of the uh, Jack Shan's good ones. Spiritual Kung Fu. Uh, I don't know. I think all these films are rolling into one, I think. <laughs> Shaolin Wooden Men. I don't think I've seen this one as well. Good Grief. And this one I haven't seen. New Fist of Fury. 
up it's the fist of fury that um bruce lee came out with as well it's a different take on it oh but i haven't seen it so couldn't tell you love the artwork on these films though and this one just came today so i haven't opened it snake and the eagle shadow This one's cut. I think it's always been cut here though. There's a bit where um, a kitten, I think is a kitten, that fights with a cobra, I think it is. The um, BBFC doesn't have any of that going on in the films. So they cut it out. Yeah, okay. Censorship, don't like it. Oh, I think I put it in the wrong place actually. I think it should be after the young master. Which is next up, good set. Excellent set. I believe Ray's Collector's Dream. It's a good film as well. Really good long uh, fight at the end of it as well. I think all these Jackie Chan films have got like this spectacular fight scenes at the end of it yep uh, let me just change it onto there next up in me second sight films british uh british film no surrender in 1985 i think it was Short circuit. Quite a good uh, still book this is. It's just a overall great film. I just love this film. I think it's really good. Oh, it's got a bit of a dint in it. Oh well. That's what you gotta do when you gotta have uh, still books. Make sure you don't get a dint in it. Stop is a brilliant, cracking film. Betty Blue. I think this has got yeah director's cut, which is on three hours. An the original theatrical cut. The director's cut of this is um is brilliant. It's really fantastic. It's a French film though, so it's got no uh, happy endings to it. Next up. Oh, let me just change. Ugh. Creepshow. This is an excellent um, release, this one. Love the uh, Just Desserts making of Creepshow. 90 minutes making of. Which is a really good documentary. Love this one. Just love the film overall. Just think it's fantastic. Another Belter. The Texas Chainsaw Massacre. It's the uh, original artwork, which I do have to have. Tons of special features on there. Absolutely. Just fantastic uh, documentaries. Just amazing. Midnight Run. Love the artwork to this. I always have. It's another good, another good film. Another good uh, buddy movie, as they always call it. But, um, yeah. <laughs> I was going to give away the end there, but I thought, nope. No, you don't. <laughs> Colours. This is one of these ones where I watched when I was a kid. Really enjoyed it. Even though watching it, um, it's a couple months ago now. Rewatching it again, it's uh, quite hard hitting. 
Info God. Blimey. I was a kid and like that film. Next up, State of Grace. It's a good film. About um Irish New York gangsters. Quite good. Love this bit in the film. Big shootout. The animator. Didn't like this when the first got on video. I loved the trailer to it, and I thought, oh, we've got to get it out, got to get it out when it comes out. So when it did, it, it kind of disappointed me. Don't know why. Love it now, though. Haven't seen the uh, document uh, documentary, the um, director's cut of it. Dreamscape. Love this one. Remember when someone, I think it's a um, US senator or some, something like that, uh, dreams of a um, nuclear bomb going off. It's, when I watched it the first time, it was quite effective to me and it scared me. <laughs> Very good. Okay, let me just turn around. <laughs> in a different angle The Changeling great box set good film remember me uh, my cousin told me about this film on about ghost stories and all that so there's this film called The Changeling it's about this little boy that um, uh, he's, he's a ghost and you know, like he bangs on the on on the bath or something that's where he died and something like that anyway and he, he, all you can hear in the house is uh, bang 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 quite scary <laughs> stop take shelter I love this film really good film it's about a guy that has uh, dreams about um, like the sky changing, just just weather, um, just gonna destroy everything. And yeah, he's um, you just don't know if he's telling the truth or not, and if the dreams are just dreams. And mm. but the ending makes an excellent payoff, though. Really good. Makes the film. Next up in Bruges. I love this film so much. We um, actually went to Bruges. Um, stayed behind that tower. I was there. There was there's a hotel there. Uh, yeah, yeah. Just loved it. Didn't like the the feast, the chips. Um, they had like curry sauce with it, but it was like um, curried mayo sauce, something, and it it just not me sick, <laughs> not me sick, and the beers were so heavy. <laughs> um, let's say that that the <laughs> bit of toilet humour here, though, but yeah, the uh, the toilets weren't the same as uh, as we. <laughs> <laughs> when we got there, oh, yeah, bit too information there. Well, yep. <laughs> right. Flight Navigator. This is one one of my childhood favourites. Just loved it. Watched um, a documentary about a uh, little boy. Now he's a uh, grown up. Quite. Quite sad um, documentary about him. Yep. Good film. Need to put that on the side there. Haven't got much room here to play around with. Upgrade. This is a good film. 
good, good quality film. The um, the ending took me back a bit. It's like, oh my god. But uh, yeah, it's it's a really good film. The fight choreography in this film is it's quite amazing. The amazing Mr. Blunder, Blunden. It's all right, film. The ending made me titter. How it finished, it was like uh, the old BBC sitcoms, where it gives you the, the name of the um, the actor, and they're there on the screen, like waving goodbye to you. It's like, oh, this isn't this is uh, not like any other films. <laughs> and this film, wow! Walk about what. A Absolute wonderful film this is. Absolutely. Really made up I got this film. It's like a life changing experience if you can call a film such that. But that's how I felt after watching it. Pause it again. The Strangers. Quite a anything anything that can beat reality scares me. And this one scares me. Uh, anyone could come to the door and you know terrorize you or whatever. Which does happen. Oh. Yeah, haven't seen the second one though. Don't know what that one's like. Because of the uh, first one. <laughs> Don't have the dead cards. What you get when you uh, pre ordered the film. Yeah, would have uh, liked something else though, but. Hey ho! Oh god, this is a mammoth set. But this is my favourite film. Not one. Definitely not. Think this is my number one favourite film ever. Absolutely. I remember as a kid watching it. Watching it with coffee ice cream. Yeah. That's the kind of parents that I had. <laughs> God bless you. <laughs> but uh, yeah, yeah. Absolutely, just I absolutely just love this film. Can't say um, a bad word about it. Just loved it. I just love the. Uh, just the makeup. Just the the grey. Zombie makeup that they had. It's uh, <laughs> and the uh, the deep red blood that they had as well. And it was um, when was it? It was even though we had had many incarnations of the film, um, different cuts. I always used to get like each one had a different go scene in it. Um, until I got the, the full on court, which was about, when was it? About 15 years ago it was. And I said, wow, wow, amazing. Yeah, one of my favourites. One of my favourites, my definite favourite. Unbelievably. Next up, The Nightingale. It's a harrowing film, this is. How it first starts. It's, um, yeah, quite, quite. It's, is it graphic? It's just very. Yeah, you don't mess with uh, babies or kids in in a film. With with me, um, yeah. Um, 
But it's a very good film now. Really good film. I advise you to watch it if no one else has watched it before, but yep, yeah, it is a good, good one. Oh. <laughs> one thing I hate is the these with second sight. Love to keep them on. Keep all of it on, but they do annoy me. Okay, next up. <laughs> Host. This is one of my favourite ones that came out from last year. Uh, loved it. I just thought it was just, uh, just amazing. Just uh, what you need to watch in lockdown. Just made me happy. <laughs> um, I loved how um, it's only on for about 57 minutes, I think it is. Which is uh, pretty much what a Zoom call lets you do. Just an hour, an hour's worth of uh, chatting on there. And at the end, there's a countdown to when it's going to finish. And <laughs> there's so much tension. There's so much tension in the film that... Um, I think something's gonna happen. Something's gonna jump up. I, it, it, yeah, you got you, <laughs> you've got to see it to believe it. But um, yeah, I love this film. I thought the, uh, I just thought all of it was just brilliant, fantastic film. Couldn't recommend it enough. But there's some of you out there that don't like it, but can't like it all. <laughs> Next one I've got is one that I haven't seen. Is Raw. I haven't seen this one yet. But will do. I thought I'd watch this today, but with two French films watching, I thought it's too much for my brain. Can't take the uh, subtitles, so I'll just watch the one. <laughs> well, we'll get to watch this though. No problem. Okay, next one. Eric the Viking. Oh. This is a good one. Good one now. When I first got the uh, this Blu-ray, uh, the video on it was just wank. Anyway, there was a replacement disc, um, a replacement for it. Took it up, got the new one. The new one looks totally fantastic, brilliant. So this is a really good film. Remember this. Um, remember this coming out on video when uh, Batman came out, the Tim Burton one. I think I had both of them. I think at the time. Uh, yeah, just a good night of entertainment. Stop the wizard. Fred Savage. Do love this film. Oop. Really good film. Liked it when I was a kid because uh, it had uh, lots of video games in it. And, uh, yeah. Gotta love the video games. <laughs> This is a Kino Loba now. Only got a f fair few. Aspen Extreme. It's a bit cheesy. Bit of a TV movie kind of thing though, but I liked it. I thought it was very good. I do love films with snow in it. This one's got a lot. So yeah. <laughs> Oh, oh, Mad Max. Uh, it was all right. It was kind of boring, though. I think I only seen when I was a kid the last fifteen minutes. When I watched this, I thought, God, this, what I remember of this, it it doesn't. I mean, sure, I think I watched Mad Max 2 because I think Mad Max 2 was like a, a remake of the first. 
but done with lots of um, action in it. Could be wrong with that, but that's what I remember. The good, the bad, and the ugly. Just watch this before I did the video. Cracking, cracking film. Just, yeah. And uh, just the music. The music is just like, oh. It's just heaven to me. Really good film. Next up. The Queen. Definite uh, film for um, people like uh, Paris. Paris is burning. About the drag scene. Quite a, a very entertaining part in this film. Just, uh, just brilliant. Makes me titter every time. Ugh. Small town in Texas. I think I mainly love the artwork for this film. This is done by Drew Struzan, which is my favourite movie poster artist. Just love how he's, he's got the what the film's all about in just one one sheet poster. It's just fantastic. The film isn't that bad. The film is quite entertaining enough. Oh, go away. No. Pause it again. I sorted that one out. <laughs> Next up. Lost in the Dust. I haven't seen so much of this, but it's got Divine in it, which, uh, yeah, love anything with Divine in. Quite funny. And this is a uh, vinegar syndrome. This one is. Next up, Psychos in Love, which uh, I love. This film. It's not got the greatest acting in it. It's not got the greatest story. Well, well, I'd, I'd, I'd give it a good story to it. It really is. But uh, I just love it. I just love like uh, the humour in it. It's uh, it's very funny. Yep. Fantastic. <laughs> Tetsuo, the Iron Man, and Body Hammer. I haven't seen the second one much, but the Iron Man though, I've catched it on uh, Channel Four. I think it was a Friday night. I think it was. I was like, what the hell is this? This is so... But I remember it advertised as like an anger at the time. But yeah, it's uh, quite strange. It's all stuff from Japan. Uh, Japan is sometimes. But I liked it. Next one up. This one's quite arty. Violence Voyager. Burning Buddha Man. It's all like um, like pop up animation kind of thing. And it's quite graphic. I started watching this, but. I think I was in the, just in the mood I was in, and it, it, it didn't actually say it wasn't making me entertained though, but I just want in the mood at the time for it, get watching that, and that's it, that's all the shelf done, get sell me a uh, the rays in, in order again. <laughs> so next shelf will be my horrors. 
So like, share and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.